My name is Olissa Menakaya. I'm originally from Fort Worth, Texas, but I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm a graduate student at Tennessee State University. Basically, there I work with Dr. Siddiqui, and we basically get to learn how to work with nanomaterials, synthesize them, and then from there, extract the metals. So basically, you can call me an inorganic chemist or a material scientist right now. So how do you explain what you do to um, somebody that's not very familiar with you? I kind of explain it like a simple way. So when people ask me, what does a nanoscientist do or material scientist? What do I actually do with my project? I use a simple sentence. Just imagine using another man's garbage for another man's treasure. And it's very simple like that because that's what chemistry is about. You are trying to not create something. You're trying to use something and make it a better material for, other, for the human or humankind to use it for in another process. So when I talk to like little kids and tell them like how to relate it, I talk about, think about water. What does water do? It's something you can drink, but it's also another form called H2O. So when you add something to that, it becomes a whole different process. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you clean your water because, you know, that's what humans need. Clean water, a clean world, and a cleaner future. Kids actually love it because they ask me, so you're a chemist. I'm like, yeah, I'm a chemist. Actually, you can call me an ABC. And they're like, what's an ABC? A black chemist. And it's really cool because chemistry is not always about to be serious. It's about relating the fun to the kids. Because, you know, kids, they're not going to listen to something complex. They're only going to listen to something that you can speak simply to them. So where is your passion for nanochemistry? Uh, my passion for nanochemistry comes from many places. Um, Basically, nanoscience is like thinking from the bottom up to the top. So basically, it's like I did so much in life where I had to stop, start from the bottom in order to build myself to where I'm at now. So my passion is to help other people to realize you don't have to be the best yet, but you have to realize that in order for you to become the best, you always have to start from the bottom. And that's what nanoscience comes from my passion for it. Give me a personal example of you rising from the bottom and then your science, uh, and a, a particular part of your science rising from the bottom. <laughs> well, it's funny, though. Um, I can relate to everybody taking a chemistry test, a general chemistry test, your very first time, straight from high school into college. Um, I wasn't very smart, like people would say I am. I actually had to study. I had to really focus. So after that first test, which I didn't do too hot, I kept focusing. I kept trying. I kept trying to learn chemistry, and here I am now. I have a bachelor's in chemistry, I'm pursuing my master's, and now I'm about to go pursue my PhD. That started from the bottom up to get into the top. Mm -hmm. And is that an example of your time in nanoscience? That's like okay, yeah. precipitate. What is a precipitate? Precipitate is basically a solid that's formed from a liquid to liquid. So imagine having water, then having something dissolve into that water, and it causes a new material. That's the bottom up, because you have to start from that precipitate and build it up into a whole nother level, another process, which is cool. Why? It's chemistry. You know, if you can't start from there, you couldn't have all the cool things people see now. We're talking from cameras to your computers to your cars. All that starts in the lab. All that starts with a chemist. All that. Tell me a bit about your book. My is book? Is this your first book? This will be my first book. Uh, my book is called L-O-A-B-C, Life of a Black Chemist. Basically, it's talking about my undergrad leading to my graduate. And it's basically giving kids, and not just kids, adults, not even just adults, the whole world, a, a hope, you know. I basically want to tell people, like, I've been there. I'm just like you. I'm just human, just like any chemist. Some chemists probably forget. Some chemists probably won't forget. But this is my chance to let you know, as an ABC, a black chemist, Anything is possible, as long as you believe and can achieve. And what are some of the other uh, secondary messages that you get? Secondary, uh, secondary message is, um, well, that's a lot of secondary message. First of all, you can make a lot of mistakes, but those mistakes are your experience. And if you can learn from your experience, then you can't learn from nothing. That's one message. Another message is none of your friends are really your friends if they don't think that being smart is anything to be smart about. Because why? You don't have to be stupid to be cool. Being smart is actually cooler. That's another message. 
Um, and my last message I want people to know is, it's very simple. Do I say ABC? It's easy as one, two, three. What, um, what drove you? I mean, because there are, you know, I've been to school in the inner city, mm-hmm. and there are kids that say, I want to be a forensic scientist or a forensic chemist, or I want to be um, uh, a biologist. And why did it happen for me? There's a lot of reasons why I'm here to now. First of all, I would like to thank God. Honestly, just to let you know. Then I love to thank ACS. Without ACS, and that's why I tell people, you cannot do it by yourself. You can't do anything just because you say you can do it. You need help. You need a society. ACS came to me like a family. And that's why they'll always be my family. When people want to ask, how do you do it? You have to ask somebody else that's already been through it. And there's nothing better than going to an organization such as ACS or talking to your professor such as your school or talking to inner school societies. Those are ways you can find places of if you want to be a forensic scientist or a chemist or a chemical engineer or a nanoscientist like me or inorganic chemist or organic chemist or anything you want to be. All that starts with another human. Why? Because the best resource for a human is another human. Now, this is your second or third leadership award. It will be my second. Your second. Yes. So, what do you? What did you get out of the first one? The first one is a very clear message I have to tell people now. I learned to be clear. I learned to be concise. And I learned to appreciate chemistry. Before I even came to my first leadership institute, I didn't know anything really that chemistry involved leaders. I just thought if you're a chemist, you just sit in the lab and you just sit there and that's it. No, it's bigger than that. And that's what ACTS taught me. I came in there, I met all these chemists. And not in just in a laboratory, I met them in a fancy hotel where we talked about chemistry, we talked about stuff that relates to chemistry as a leader. That blew my mind. I actually, from there, I knew that I was born to be a chemist. I knew that this is where I was supposed to be at. And that's what the Leadership Institute taught me. It taught me to be clear, concise, and never be afraid to talk to somebody else because somebody else is in the same shoes as you and they'll help you, guide you to be a better person than you are now. Now, what are you experiencing in your second conference and, and uh, what, do you, what do you hope to gain? I hope to gain... I, I stepped on you, thank you. Yeah. Now, I, I hope to gain a lot from this second conference. First of all, um, I did... Start my first year graduate student, very busy, definitely uh, in the lab. I, I, I basically almost forgot what I was, and I'm ABC. ABC can't just be in the lab. He has to be in the lab, but he also has to be there in the public. And what I hope to uh, establish from this, I want to start a local young chemist committee within Nashville, Tennessee. And I also want to prepare to uh, finish writing my book, LOABC, because it's, it's a really difficult. When you are trying to achieve something that has not yet been done or needs to be done, you want to be prepared for that. You want to be able to be comfortable of being that next person that's going to achieve the impossible. This is what the leadership conference here for the ACS does. It lets you be that impossible leader. It lets you be extraordinary. It lets you do things you can never thought you could achieve. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to start a local YCC within Nashville, Tennessee and prepare to finish my book, LOABC. Life of the Black Chemist. Now, one last question. In the past, we talked, and, and you have expressed quite a bit of interest in becoming a certification for um, chemistry. Yes. In, in general. Can you, can you say why that's important to you and why you want to do it? Okay, why it's important to me as a sportsperson? Uh, think about your favorite rapper, favorite basketball players. What do you like about them? They talk to you like a regular person. They're extraordinary what they do, and that's okay, you know, because I love them too. I love Kobe Bryant. I love my favorite rappers like 2 Chain, Young Jeezy. But me, I'm your favorite chemist. I'm your ABC, and I want to help you understand that anything is possible. Anything can be achievable, and that's why I come to help you now. I'd like for you to check out my YouTube, actually, where you get to see more benefits of AB- ABC. Alyssa Minakaya, where anything – goes because this is LABC life of black chemists. And I don't want to just do that. I want people to realize you don't have to just be 
in the lab all the time. If you have a voice, share that voice. Somebody's always going to listen to you. Somebody.